We train students to work in pharmacies in a variety of practice settings so they can work at your, you know, what most people assume a pharmacy technician does, which is work at CVS, Walgreens, some of the chains as a retail pharmacy technician. But we also train them to work in a hospital setting as well. I uh, have been unemployed for a while and was trying to get back into the workforce. I taught for about nine years and um, they did teacher cutbacks this past year so I was looking into a field that um, is much needed, the medical field, and I really wasn't into giving shots and needles so this was a great way to get into the medical field without um, actually direct contact with patients. So now you see, you have an idea about what one gram looks like, so you can kind of adjust how much you scoop out the next time. Okay. So that, you know, after a while, when you're weighing out the same substances, it gets a little easier. So I'm going for five? Right, you're going for five. At this point, I'm really enjoying the rotations, actually getting in the pharmacy and um, learning how it really works. Um, Obviously, there is um, a lot of education behind what we're doing in the classroom, but we actually get to apply it when we go into our rotations. I feel like when we go on our rotations, we already already do a lot of stuff that they do and that we're going to have to learn working at the hospital and stuff. Like, we've already learned it and do it in lab every week. I'm very confident that I'll have a job when I'm finished because it's a very... Um, a field with a, a lot of openings coming up and the need for pharmacy technicians is on the rise and um, hopefully with this program and its advances as far as the rules and regulations it'll be an invaluable piece when getting a job.